Protection agency regulations may lead to coal plants shutting down across the country in an effort to curb pollution. So should we really be implementing job-killing measures right now in this tough economy? Joining us is Project 21 fellow and Fox News contributor, Deneen Borelli. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So I guess, so, so explain a little bit about what's happening. Well, this is an outrageous Obama energy policy. You remember when he was campaigning in 2008, under my cap and trade plan, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. He didn't get cap and trade, so now he's going through the Environmental Protection Agency, which is unleashing a slew of regulations on the coal industry, which will result in job losses, which is the last thing we need to do in this economy. The Congressional Research Service, which has uh, conducted research on all of this, says this about these uh, facilities. They say many of these plants are insufficient and are being replaced by more efficient combined cycle natural gas plants, a development likely to be encouraged if the price of competing fuel natural gas continues to be a low almost regardless of EPA rules. What they're saying is these things are old. Or a health hazard anyway, they were going to close. Well, here's the thing. Our, we do need to focus on health, but we also need to keep in mind that over the last 30 years, uh, there have been significant changes where our emissions have gone down, our air emissions have gone down approximately 60%, which is a substantial effort on our part. So it's not like we're not focused on health, but we're looking at the closure of these facilities, and you have uh, companies already that are making announcements that they're either going to close or they're going to scale back. American Electric Electric power. They're closing five facilities. They're scaling back on six. Duke Energy, well, one Southern of, Company. One of the concerns was, it was oh my gosh, we're going to have blackouts now because of this. Absolutely. You say no? Well, listen, Texas is concerned about blackouts. You see how hot it was there over this past summer. They're concerned about blackouts and brownouts. So if you're, they're looking at something like 81 giga, gigawatts to come offline because of these regulations. That's 8% of our electricity. Coal provides 46% of our electricity, so that's huge. Uh, critics say that, look, the EPA, well, as the EPA reports here, this air transport rule, that they yeah. would actually prevent 21,000 cases of bronchitis as a result of shutting down these, uh, these power plants or these new regulations. It would save 36,000 lives. And they say that the EPA would estimate $290 billion in health benefits compared to $2.8 billion a year in costs by 2014. Yeah. They say the health benefits excuse me, outweigh the downside of this. What do you say? Here's the thing. There are five new regulations. They call it the train wreck, EPA train wreck of regulations. And these regulations are going to put people out of jobs. They're going to increase our energy costs. As I said before, we do need to be focused on health, but they're not looking at the economic consequences of what these regulations are going to cause, which is substantial. We have jobs moving overseas to China already. P unemployment is through the roof. And uh, we can't be putting these regulations in place when you're not looking at the other side of the equation, and they're not doing that. Denise Morelli, thank you very much for joining thank us you. today, Sunday. Thanks for coming in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.